So, yes, a long time ago I made some of these little clamping squares. They were sort of square enough little offcuts of birch ply that I used to pop into the corners of carcasses when I'm making them, or doors, just to give me a, a general reference. Or so sometimes I just clamp them to a board if you need an extra leg to keep it upright. They're, they're just generally quite handy things to have, but over the years of using them I've come up with a couple of improvements or suggestions to them, to the general shape that I think would be improvements. And thinking about it, they would make the ideal first little project for my CNC. So what we're going to do, we're going to go pop back to the office for a sec, spend a little bit of quality time on the computer, get these drawn out, get the G-code generated, and then we can get those on my laptop, bring them back here, and get them cut out uh, as a first CNC project. So here we are back in the office. Um, once again, we're spending a bit of quality time with our Vectric Aspire software. Um, as fine as it is for drawing, you may be more comfortable using another drawing program, something you've been using for years maybe. Well, you can import those drawings into uh, Vectric Aspire or any of the other Vectric software uh, applications. And that's what I've done here with our clamping squares. Uh, we imported those, uh, drew these up earlier on, and I've just imported the, the graphics now. So all we need to do here is just select our lines. Uh, let's just make sure the material is set up right. 18 mil thick. Uh, yep. So what we're going to do, we're going to choose a profile toolpath because it's going all the way through. The cut depth will be 18 millimeters. We've got a quarter inch end mill as before. And we can calculate our tool paths. Because we're cutting shapes out completely, I'm going to add tabs in here. And tabs are just little bits that are left behind, which uh, stop the, the middle bit from flopping around, basically. So let's uh, dive in and add tabs to toolpath. And these tabs are all editable. You can sort of move them around as you choose add some in if you need. And with those done we can then as before calculate and then save that out as a file that we want. And we'll call that clamp SQ. And there we are, that's that done. Uh, we need to as before get that onto my laptop, get it back across the road to the workshop and we can have a go at uh, cutting these out. All righty, so we've got our bits of birch, back in, the, back in the workshop now, obviously. We've got our bits of birch ply, all sized and dimensioned, ready to go. We've got one of those secured onto the uh, surface with our little hold downs. We've got the code generated. Uh, we need to get this fired up, get connected to the machine, and then we can see if we can run this, uh, run this cutting path and get this these clamps cut out. I will buy a probe. Honestly, I will. It is actually pretty much spot on. If I go down five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
coming here where it's a little bit quieter. This is really weird. Um, it's both exciting and really, really boring because it's doing exactly what it's supposed to. It's really strange. Uh, conflict of feelings. Anyway, I, I, and feel compelled to watch it, of course. I mean, new baby, you know, you put it down and just everybody watches it. Uh, yeah, anyway, here we are. <laughs> That's not it, we'll go back in where it's noisy. Where's that? And just like that, my first actual project project was done. <laughs> yeah, what fun. Uh, let's get this out of the way. So we'll home that. Just pop a pencil on here. I might, I might bang out another couple of those. So that's a, it's a combination of really exciting and really boring. That's, that's our first little project. The tabs have kept everything together really neatly. You can just but see them. We've come all the way through, but these, these will just snap off completely. Yes, they, yes, they will. So I'm not using a down cut bit, so I need a little bit of cleaning up on the top edges. But clamping squares, just like that, amazing. And we're gonna, I'm going to run a sander over these, I'll be back in a second. So there we are, that's our little clamping squares all sanded up. The idea of these, of course, is that you can either, if you are building a carcass, one can go inside, one can go outside if you wanted, and you can get a one of your clamps between them, and you've got a flat end there uh, to clamp against. Um, I tend to just clamp against the sides, but you know, whatever, whatever you want to do with them. Um, just really simple. I hope they're square, actually. Check that make a smoke absolutely 100% Miroc square. Look at that, not a squeeze of light between there at all. That's absolutely perfect. And on the outside, old Moore and Wright engineer's square. Absolutely spot on again. Um, yeah, really, really, really pleased with those. Took about uh, 16, 17 minutes to cut and literally a couple of minutes of sanding. And super simple, made from bits of birch ply scrap. What's what's not to like? <laughs> uh, what indeed? Uh, be sure to join me for the final part of starting out in CNC, where I'll be sharing some lessons learned during this build. I'll be discussing future plans and upgrades, and I'll address the $64,000 question, would I buy it all again? If you've got any comments, questions, or suggestions on the series or about this Usness Workpiece CNC machine, then leave them down below, and I'll get to those in the final episode, episode 11, out next week on the usual Friday schedule. I'll see you then.